This is why I say it's an informal settlement three kilometers south of Kampala. Life in Waise is heartbreaking. Low latrine coverage, poor hygiene and sanitation practices, dust during sunshine, floods and mud when trains. Sanitation related diseases like cholera are a common occurrence. People die and some get hospitalized. However, 28-year-old Francis Ndiabawe is eager and working hard to change the situation. He is the coordinator of Sustainable Sanitation and Water Renewable Systems, SWAS. SWAS is a local NGO. Francis Ndiabawe is meeting Kasasa Mansu. Kasasa Mansul is a beneficiary of a newly constructed latrine. Swartz constructs latrines on loans affordable by the community. We found out that sanitation would be improved in the area if we constructed toilets. At least we would reduce the we can reduce the problem of diseases around the area. This served as a human waste dumping site for Kasasa Mansu and his close to ten tenants. It is just behind their houses. But the surrounding requires a lot more. And we're planning that maybe these people should get like a, like a compost pit where they can put all these papers around. And this water here, which is just in the streams here and is dirty, maybe we shall have to clear up the trenches and the place is clean. Now, Kasasa and his tenants each contribute about four US dollars every month. They are paying back the loan for the latrine. This will not take away their smile for a clean facility. Tenants promptly pay their bills for the loan. They see it's worth it. And they are happy to be having a new and clean latrine. Latrines in this bad condition are what Swaz is replacing with new ones. Many filled up already and were abandoned. Others were washed down by the floods. Amidst scarcity of latrines, marketing good sanitation and hygiene is difficult. Public latrines then become an immediate and quick solution. That is especially for busy areas like this timber market. Public latrines with washing rooms have a business component. The operators charge affordable user fees. About 2,000 people use this utility daily. It generates a daily income of about 12 US dollars. For the caretaker and cashier, Moesge Lopard, this is good enough for his family to live decently and for the proprietor's profit. Profits are also an incentive for constructing more latrines. The German Development Corporation, GIZ, among other international donors, support the projects with startup money. The payment of user fees is very positive, but the problem is poor hygiene behavior. Due to different backgrounds, keeping the facility clean is real hard work. Lack of good sanitation and hygiene knowledge and practices is a major setback. Toilets is not a priority. And you'll find that very many people are here around don't have toilets indeed. And uh, the challenges we find, it is to instill 
that idea into people to make someone believe that he's very important. However, setbacks will not drill France in Sindiabawe. His greatest wish is more players joining hands with him. It's only then that the quality of life and livelihoods of people of Waise will greatly improve.